I have a couple questions for you as one of the elders in the peace movement. Um, just to kick it off, as I'm coming from the generation next, mm -hmm. and uh, do you do you feel that we that the world needs saving? Yes, <laughs> I think the world needs saving, um, uh, but I, I I wouldn't want to say the whole world. I'd say parts of the world really need saving. The rest are waiting for things to come so that they could join in the right direction. You know? So that that it's an inclusive thing. You know? Do you feel that it's possible? Absolutely. I think you can contribute. You know, imagine a guy walking around the corner, and just as he gets around the corner, another guy goes, <laughs> and he turns his head, just as somebody throws something that was in the same place where his head was. <laughs> you know, you go, everything's connected. You know, so that's just a little funny way of saying. <laughs> no, but it's true. I get it because I'm I'm of the school that believes it's a collective consciousness that has us where we are, and so. Then there's the big question. Uh oh. <laughs> How are we going to do it? How are we going to save the world? I think in order to do it in a way that you might want to spiritually do it or physically do it, you're putting all of them in the same pot physical, mental, spiritual uh, is, is trying to uh, uh, serve a purpose. The purpose may be to, to get the world in shape. So in order to do that, you have to come together with everyone else who's in shape so that we can cut it all down together and, and, and count out a, a few. Because if, if there's something national, the reason why nothing happens is because it's national and we're not. We're state by state mentality. So we have to do it state by state. So I would suggest everything that needs to be done needs to be done locally so that people don't have to move to get it or, or um, be able to build and bond with people that they don't know that lives two doors down. And, and, be, and you know, who knows? Maybe that woman will save my kid from getting hit by a car. You, if you thought that thought, then you do back up a little bit and go, maybe I better know this woman to, just in case, you know. But that's that's the connection I think has to be made. Is you don't have to worry about homeless people nationally. You have to worry about homeless people locally, taking care of them where they are, surroundings they they understand people they trust, a lot of people they don't, but that's part of coming from healing. Agreed. And so if we take it down to a level of, say, locally, literally, just within oneself, um, what do you think about the idea of connecting with people of the same mind? Mm -hmm. Literally, some people are are moving energy through protest. Some people are moving energy through music. Some people are moving energy through studying the extraterrestrials, metaphysics, chasing down the new world order. There are so many facets. Yeah. What do you feel about the idea of those facets starting to connect with each other? In other words people in a, in a political active movement, people in a spiritual movement, and then sort of connect to each other to realize maybe we all have a piece to the pot. Yeah, well I think, see, I think it's happening very naturally because if I look back, it, you know, from when I was really young, it was a brand new world. So world War II was just over, so it was that really a brand new world. That's why my whole generation are the way they are. It's because there wasn't a generation before them that was like we what we are. So, I mean, that's that's what we need. We need the generational voice, as it is doing now, getting the money for Barack Obama to run, getting you know, doing things that they feel are going to be part of the world they want to have. So that's why young people are voting. It's not just to vote. It's that they're voting because they know now 
that it really could possibly change everything, you know, in the wink of an eye, you know. So, so it, it, it's, I, I believe that it's really like something that uh, you start and then every so incrementally so, like let's say 12 months, every month you, on the same day you, get, you gather whoever is around and they communicate with the next day, the next uh, uh, the next month, and the next month, and the next month, at the end of which you would like to have everybody be able to come together, you know, because, you, you know, you can find that all of those those people in your local backyard that you can call a meeting like that a month, a month, and, and, and I think, you know, people have to know that there are people trying to do something right. People who don't know that don't really know that. That's something they have to be taught, you know. To, so that's where you guys come. Right? Your turn and, down. Yeah, and it is our <laughs> turn. So, so we, you know, my, personally, I feel that you set a stage, laid out the platform, and it's for us to take the, you know, the mm -hmm. baton and move forward. And if I could ask you, I mean, I'm. That's I. I could say. Well, what advice would you give us the next generation? And you pretty much just did. 